Okay, so this is my packing technique for a 96 inch uh, parachute. This is a Sphere Shoots brand parachute. I just got it a couple hours ago. First thing I do is I take my drogue line and I anchor it to my table. And I do this so I can center up my parachute. And I do that so I can get my lines connected first. And the reason I want my lines connected first is so I can figure out which line's next to what. And so when I hook them up to my quick link, they're not all tangled. So what I do to start is I center off my drogue line and I have a seam. And then from there, I use that just to fold the gores back and forth. And you can just do it kind of sloppy and quick. Because all you're trying to do is find out where the lines are. So there's that one. And then this one. And that should be all the lines. So this one and this one are next to each other. They share a panel. And I just run them all the way out with my fingers. Just untangle them. one okay so these three are all my left side I'll just take my quick link separate them as best I can a piece of tape This is one. Let's start at the bottom. This is one. run them out with my fingers. So there's the bottom. That's the top, so top, middle, bottom. I just take those in my hand finger like this. And I've got my right side on or my left side and just drape them on. And then I quick link it down. And we're going to balance all those a little later and I just throw a piece of tape on like that. So now that I have that done, what I want to do is I want to get everything over the one side of the table. I'm going to find my center line, which is right here, off of the drogue connection. Just 
tape over it. seams right there. Just fold over each gore one at a time. We're going to come back and do this nicely called dressing the gores. Right now we're just trying to get a rough layout. So for this 96 inch shoot, I would probably push rockets, depending on your elevation, 25, 30 pounds. Obviously the higher elevation you go, uh, the thinner the air, the less drag, so you're gonna fall faster. So you wanna use a lighter rocket, heavier, bigger shoot. And this is the second 96 inch shoot I've gotten from Spear Shoots. I replaced the first one after I lost it in a windstorm uh, in a storage box, not due to any fault of construction. I actually like these shoots a lot, which is why I went back to it. So, put some tape down just to assist. Then if you can get actual packing weights, those are great, but I don't have packing weights, so I just use uh, wrenches and screwdrivers and pliers. So what I'm doing now is I'm fine dressing each gore Lining it up at the bottom first. Making everything nice and lined up. Makes for a better pack job. Okay, so that is good. So then I'll come down. Disconnect my line. I don't need it quite so tight anymore. And then I'll fine dress these cores. So with your uh, drogue line, you can hook a drogue up to it. I don't do anything to it, so I always leave mine out at the end. Uh, you can tape it up if you want. So now that I'm at this point, I'm ready to get this chute ready for packing. Now I've used this chute on uh, five and a half inch airframes. Uh, I didn't have any issues. I've used it on a four inch airframe with the Jolly Logic, and it came out fine. Um, it's all on how you kind of want to pack. Uh, but for my next step, regardless of what airframe and the size, is I'm going to do one more fold over. And towards the end, it gets a little bit tough, but that's okay. So then at this point, I'm going to move some of the tape out of the way. start doing my lines and so for the lines I like to do an accordion fold and I like to lay them out first you're gonna have little bunches like this at the end uh, just because of the circular nature of the uh, of the canopy some people like to trim them and cut them down. I don't get that, that into it. But what I will do, will do, is rubber bandies. 
We only rubber band the corners. I try not to rubber band everything together. Um, it makes it tough to deploy. And if you have a pack bag, uh, or a tray even, that's where this comes in handy. I don't go crazy tight on these. Just enough to keep them together. Dress them up a little bit. Try to make sure they're all the same length. If I want to get really fancy, what I'll do is I'll cut the rubber band and then I will tie it on there as tight as I want. I'm thinking that three turns is, is pretty good for this right now. strand. So there's a couple different ways people finally pack the, the shroud lines in. Some people pack them in the actual, uh, in the canopy. I'm not a fan of that. I will lay them on there so they can come out, but I'll never roll them up in. So at this point, I'm going to fold this into thirds. It doesn't matter which way I go. There's my first third. And I fold under. I always want to leave the ability for the chute to expand on its own. So what I can do now is I can lay these over the top and pack them in, or if I'm using a Jolly Logic, what I would do, well, I wouldn't really use a Jolly Logic on anything that's big, but I line everything up and I can put it in. And so. attachment point is still out and then I can press that down before I actually stuff it in. So if I wanted to, the way that would look for deployment So this is how deployment would work. You'd have your anchor point here. So for deployment at this point, I have my connector here, under tension, rubber bands give way, and that shoots at full deployment right there. All the rubber bands have come off, a couple haven't, but all they take a quick little pull and your chute is ready to catch air and inflate.